Hello there, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the Fox Ear Falcor, um, which is the latest um, offering from Fox Ear. So, Fox Ear, who created the, um, the Predator, have now released this, which is a weatherproof, um, I think they're meant to be the higher quality camera than the um, Predator, slightly higher latency. Um, it's kind of considered to be one of the next the next best thing in um, in in FPV cameras. So this is the 1.8 lens that comes with it. So I'm um, I'm really interested in comparing it to if I have it on here. Give me a second. I'm interested to compare it to a Fo uh, Foxier Predator V2. So same size lens. So I'll be comparing directly with this and one of my still my favourite cameras. The Runcam Eagle 2 Micro, which is in here, which, if you check the lens size, has a slightly smaller lens. Um, so, I want to do a comparison between these. Um, so, I'm going to be installing it into my rooster, because my old um, Foxeer Arrow has um, given up the ghost. So, I'll give you some stats and statistics, but hopefully, well, let's, uh, let's get this installed. Okay, so it's a nice sunny day, and I tested all these on the same day. So this is the Runcam Eagle 2 Micro, which was my de facto camera. So I'm just doing a few tests between going between light and dark. And as you can see, that there's quite a transition, and there's quite a weird haze that happens as you move between the two. The quality of the image is, is really, really good. Here is the Foxy Predator doing the same thing. And again, you have that sort of transition point. Now, the Foxy Predator does have much lower latency, so it's better for racing, but it still has that problem. So now checking out the Falcor. Now look how little the um, screen is getting washed out by that sun. It is, it is straight on there and there's absolutely no problems at all. Um, the quality is really, really excellent other than recording quality because that's my uh, DVR having a problem. But as you can see here, it moved between light and dark without any problems at all. And I'm going to now walk back and I'm just going to just sweep the camera so you can get the sun and you don't get any transition point. It is just absolutely clear with no problems at all. So let's take it out onto a rugby pitch and fly it around as I do with everything else I have. So all I'm trying to do here is just prove some of the, the, the main qualities of this, uh, this, this camera. Now the image quality, as you can see, is pretty good. Obviously the DVR, it's DVR, so it's DVR from my camera, so that's uh, not the best thing in the world. But here we go. I'm going to go for a transition here from light to dark, no problem at all, straight away. Okay, yeah, I hit a leaf. Um, how I didn't stack it, I don't really know. But... I survived. So carrying on, as you can see that, that it's it's okay, the quality of the image is good, the colours are really nice, and as you throw it around, you don't lose anything, um, you don't you don't lose frames, it doesn't look too bad, and it's um, pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to do one more run um, through the trees, just to show what it's like. So sun is straight in my eyes here, straight, straight ahead, no problem at all, not having any issues at all. And I go into the, light, into the dark, and that, that piece there is completely blocked in shade, and it's absolutely fine. Okay, so what do I think of the Falcor? Well, what can I say? It is phenomenal in terms of its capability to switch between light and dark. I was doing deliberately doing lots of runs down that little tunnel because it was very light and then very dark, um, and it really performed very well. Now, one of the other things that's really good about it is uh, I live in England, so in England you can have a nice sunny morning and you can have a frosty morning with huge amounts of sunlight, um, and it really handles those well. You can also have foggy days and you can have sort of overcast days and it still gives you a really good quality of image. Um, one of the things that didn't show up in the video um, but was sort of evident is when we were flying with other guys, so people watching through their goggles, uh, there's a couple of guys who have really bad goggles and they could noticeably see the difference in the quality um, between normal cameras and, and, and the Falcor. So I am genuinely really impressed. So impressed that I've actually gone and bought another one of these for another build that I'm doing. Um, comparing them to the Predator V2, the Predator V2 is has a lower latency, so it's probably slightly better for racing, but for what I want, the Falcor is great. Um, I've still got a little place in my heart for the Runcam Eagle. It is a really, really good camera, um, and I, I, I do think it does a really good job, but uh, at the moment, my heart has been taken by the Falcor. So, um, if you're looking around, Falcor now do um, a full range. They do a micro, a mini, and a full-size one. Um, so, they have the full range you can get, and you can get those from most hobby shops. So, I would definitely recommend them to anyone who's looking to get, in, uh, get a new camera. They are brilliant. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.